Welcome back to Helix mini documentary and part 3. If you haven't seen part 1 or part 2, you find them on the channel, in the description or in the top right corner. This is Coaster Stop and a mini documentary. Please press the like button, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos about amusement parks and roller coasters. In the first part of the Helix documentary, we talked about Helix's first code name, Green Fire, what Helix is, the announcement of the ride. Welcome to Gothenburg and Lisa Berry's amusement park. We're going to tell you something intense, something thrilling, something really exciting. This is Project Helix. We talked about Helix manufacturer Mac Rides. We have since then talked about the construction of the ride, the next level and the opening of Helix. Helix gets quite a long line because the ride it is. So Lisebae came up with something even more to boast the next level feel of Helix. They made Helix the game. Available on App Store and Google Play right now, by the way. So if you don't already have this game, download it and start practicing, because it does come with benefits. The game is packed with minigames based on the Helix experience and elements. To be able to participate in the game, you need to be in the actual queue of Helix. On the screens in the queue area, there is a code that you need to enter to be able to compete. But you better start practicing, because every 15 minutes, the one with the highest points win an express pass. This express pass is then available on the other rides in the park that have express pass, and also Helix, of course. Good luck! Other fun things about Helix. Before entering the queue to Helix, there is a wall on your left side. This wall has mathematical calculations. This wall is covered with calculations, but it also has other things. If you look really close, you can see that it's also signatures. These are signatures from coaster enthusiasts around the world. And mine is there too. If you look really, really closely, maybe you can find it. A very cool feature with Helix that I have not yet mentioned is the lighting on the trains. This makes this ride look, if possible, even cooler. I love that Lisebae is open late at night, that we can get those amazing night runs in not only the roller coaster but everything in the park. By the looks of it, this is something that we will get a lot of this summer season. I can see a lot of days with the park open until 11 at night. Helix with a spin. Would there be a possibility to make Helix even better? My favorite roller coaster in the world, the Ride to Happiness by Tomorrowland, have spinning trains and is made by Mac Rides. Would it be possible to add one of those trains on Helix? The direct answer is a no. The reason for this is many, but a big one is the weight of these trains which I really do not think the tracks on Helix is made for. Also, those trains are really, really expensive, so I do not think that is an option for Lizzie to do anyway. But we did see something very interesting being tested at Blue Fire, the project coaster of Helix, you could say. The last car of the train is replaced by a spinning car. Instead of four seats, you only get two. Lower capacity, but one hell of a ride experience. Blackpool Pleasure Beach are doing exactly this with their roller coaster icon, which of course is a Mac Rides and has the same trains as Helix and Blue Fire does. Could we see Lisa Bai do the same with Helix? I do you not think that this is out of the question? Helix with a spin might as well become a reality in the future. 
I have no idea how much a spinning car costs, so I can't speculate on when it could be possible for Lizzie to do so, if that was the case. But personally, I think it's a possibility. And I also do wish for it. The spinning is controlled, so the ride won't go crazy. But it will seriously change the ride, and not one ride will be compared to the other. If it would make Helix better though, remains to be seen. If this ever happens, that is. Let's wrap up this mini documentary. Helix is a fantastic roller coaster, but it is all the things around it that creates the experience. The memories that came to my mind while making this mini documentary is amazing. And the reason for that is because of Lisa Bay and what they did with their social media interaction. The feeling when I think about Project Helix.se and then finding a preserved version of the website that actually works, the music from the ride, it's just amazing and it's such a cool feeling. Lisa Bay is a fantastic amusement park with some really great rides, but Helix is the best they have. This is Coaster Stop, and thank you for watching this mini documentary on the Mac Rides roller coaster Helix at Lisebay. Please like this video, subscribe for more amusement park videos, and leave a comment with your thoughts. And since all of you was voting for Helix and Helix won, the second one was Lisebay's tune at UFO 23, and therefore. The next mini documentary you will get is Lisa Bay's Tunet UFO 23.